Cruiser Ben. How are we gonna put the clip on? I don't know. Okay. We're just holding on though. And uh, we need to turn. No, 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 no. I'm holding it like a table. Is it heavier than the windows? This is what you call security. How do we get out? This is a bad security system. Yeah, I don't know why you're tying it. I guess from the other side. <laughs> We're not that. <laughs> you can literally break. Security. Security. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be doing the door. Now I understand why David has been avoiding it. He did not tell me when I suggested today to do the door why he has been avoiding it, which is the weight of it. Uh, yeah, we have it like pretty much not far away from the <laughs> house because that's how, as far as we could get it. I mean, we could probably get it more far, but that would take all day. And then, yeah, there's already a rainy cloud coming that we didn't see coming before. We're going to sandpaper it and uh, then we're going to explain you more about we're going to do a pattern. You probably have seen it already. So, but first we have to sandpaper it and make it all nice and smooth. First of all, all around and then we also have all of those edges that we need to do. We probably should have done it before. I think, but we'll see. I think it's also possible like that. So we have sandpapered the door, but another thing we need to do for the door to work function properly is to take out this old hinge. Uh, you see me holding an angle grinder, that means that we need to cut it out. I tried a lot to take it out with my full body weight, with full power, every single way we could. It does not come out, it broke all the concrete on the other side by moving the wood way too much, so that's not good. But uh, it does not come out. So. It will have to cut off and then to reuse it, we're just gonna weld back on the pin. Should be fixable, I think. But let's cut it off. So now the door can open properly. It was blocking the door from going on here to open fully. It was only op able to open like that much, which is annoying for carrying anything in or out. But now it will open properly. We also have to get bigger hinges because that door is way too heavy for the hinges that were here that we put it on. Uh, it was perfectly fine, but um, I think it needs bigger hinges and something a bit more cooler looking. So we have to go and see what we can get for this door. Something nice and beefy and similar to this, but new style. Because um, I'm not professional to restore these now, so for now we need to put something on. And then we can maybe restore the original ones and put them back on. The part has come 
And it's the worst part where we have to do symmetry and we're not good at that, but we have to do it so it can look actually good. This is the pattern that we are copying pretty much. And it also has another meaning that we're gonna tell you later on. It's a Latvian symbol, if you already know, you probably know which symbol it is, but I don't remember exactly what it, the meaning behind it, so we're gonna tell you at the end of it, once we have finished it, and hopefully we'll be looking good. What we need to do is pretty much divide all those pieces and we have double the amount of these ones. And uh, yeah, we just have to go with a pencil. We cannot write on it because if we erase it, it's gonna be a bit of a mess. So we're just gonna do a dot. That's why we have this little super skinny pencil. And I've seen a lot of people that do actually this type of Scandinavian look, I think it's called or something. Uh, they paint this, the pieces individually. So you pretty much paint, you like, it's cut off and you paint this one and then you stick them all together. But first we have to do this whole math dividing situation. So first line, it goes like that. have after three hours of trying to figure out what to do we came to our result which is the small star in the middle and then the bigger star on the outside but the problem was I don't know if that looks quite accurate this big peak it's only on the top and on the bottom because the sides of course are not as big it's not like a square box so the sides will cut off on the sides these sides and these ones are gonna be longer so we're not doing the other pattern that was on the bottom that had some zigzag because we already wasted one and a half hours trying to figure out to replicate the pattern that I had on my phone. So I just said, you know what, just do it ourselves on the door we have because this side is a bit bigger than the other one. So this one has actually, how many lines? This one, one extra has? wood. One extra, yeah, one extra line of woods. So it would not fit. So enough blubbering <laughs> we're gonna make that white this one we're gonna stain and then the rest we're gonna just do with bot luck okay it's not returnable you scared me i thought i did something <laughs> next day and we are gonna do the boat lock part we are gonna do that part in between those two tapes this is gonna be boat locked and tomorrow we're gonna do the stain because the stain will dry faster in theory I think so we can put it on the door because the room here has cooled down a lot I think we have 15 degrees in here because the nights are getting very cold so it's it was about time to do it or the nights are gonna get colder and would never do it So it looks insane, it looks like a galaxy. This is finished. Boat lock, I think, looks really good. I think it does need another layer. It's not something 
it's something you touch often but not something that needs to stay in weather like the other side we did that we did like two layers i think two yeah. or even three i don't remember but yeah that's it tomorrow we're gonna do the stainer in the middle it comes a bit to life no As you saw, we bought something that we thought was a stainer, but was not a stainer. So we had to go to the store and buy another paint because turns out the stainer is very expensive. And we bought Swedish wood paint and it's all natural, something natural for the wood. And it's in a red color. Since we're going for a red symbol, I actually wanted brown, but that is red, reddish, not red, red. It's dark cherry red. So we'll see how that turns out, but first we have to tape it. And as you saw, we also put the hinges on. Yeah, because we did not want to leave the door open until we got to the store to get some. So we put it on, we're gonna take one hinge off at a time. And since this one is uh, soaking in, we can put it straight away on it again. So let's see how this one works, but let's tape first. Okay, well that's red. So this is pretty much comes off with water of hands and stuff. I don't know if I have to mix it. Is it thick? No, it's very liquidy and it makes me stressed out. Like very stressed out. Oh. I think it's good actually. What is good? It looks exactly like that. Because the arrow we saw it, where they were showing it, it was thick. I know that you always have to mix anything liquid you buy in the can. And this time I listened to David, he said I shaked it up a bit and that should be okay. And I, yeah, look. There we go. That's the color the wood will be. There we go. Okay, well that looks a bit separated. <laughs> That's why they said one layer max, you don't need to do two layers. It's not about kneading, I think it only supports two layers. Yeah. That's what it said. So this one is like all natural and it also prevents, it protects the wood and prevents from bugs. It looks pretty cool to me. Okay. So that is the Latvian symbol we were going for. It also has the Latvian flag colors. It was not intended necessarily. We actually wanted to do it like dark color, like the beans, but we ended up getting red just because it did not have the brown color and David decided he wanted red to fit with a Latvian symbol. Uh, this symbol is actually called Auseklis and it means morning sun and it protects the house and uh, brings light in the darkness which is really important for us especially during winter time to get some light and some protection from the darkness so that's the symbol it's probably gonna look really really cool once the white walls are done because now it's like on really shit walls and it does not bring the actual symbol in light i am not the biggest fan of the color but maybe i'm gonna get used to it hopefully 
I mean, it's a natural color and it's always, even if we don't like it, we can always replace it, but for now it's perfectly fine. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and we're gonna see you next time. Bye bye. Careful, it's still wet. <laughs>